Well, keeping with the train of thought in relationship to the last video, right here we have the assembly. This is the raw assembly. In the same way that this was a humongous C letter, now we have a humongous C letter. Also, we have a very large washer made out of a quarter inch Luan and one small washer. Between those two, we have a half inch bearing load wall that holds this thing together. As you can see, I built this small elevation deck right here in which the potentiometer is sitting. Everything that you are looking at right now is 100% temporary and this guy have the ability to be changed positions in order to change the location and the <coughs> the heading of the camera, or the position of the camera. Most of the time the camera will be here. I have right here a Mobius with its mounting. And uh, that's it. Everything is holded just for a few by a few drops of crazy glue. Nothing is permanent. Uh, probably the only thing that are permanent in this precise moment are the Luan, the washer and the mounting place where the potentiometer is sitting. The rest is temporary. Everything is, is loose. It was very important if you look over here all the wires are barely holding they are just twisted together and holding because I didn't want to solder those wires and then find out that this guy was connected improperly. Talking about the center position, this guy and the adjusting that I just mentioned, allow me to change the position of the camera according to my needs. And I remember that in the old days like in the few tabar radios and all of them, they used to have a lever that allow you to move the potentiometer back and forth in order to get to the correct position. So that is one of the important aspects right there to be able to make changes. As you can see, the servo have a deck in which he gets lift in order to meet the main gear in the right at the right height. Finally, perhaps in this part of the video, I will say that if you look at it, these wires are just twisted together. And the only purpose of this is to make sure that you don't have to swap these two wires or those two wires and that they are already welded because you will not have enough time to remove this and what will happen is that the, the PWM of the, of the servo will burn trying to twist and going against everything and uh, one more time I will say that I know about that because it happens. finally I will say in, the, in this part of the video that even though I still have to weld these wires you know, solder them properly and do all the changes accordingly. Without the camera and without the camera mount, this is a 42 grams low profile gimbal. And uh, from my eyes, from my perspective, that is just an awesome quality. This guy don't have no problems going almost 360 degrees, actually much more than 360 degrees. That is 360 degrees. That is 360 degrees. That 
it is a cheap easy simple to do and if you have the time and probably have most of the materials in the garbage being in your shop you can probably make this in one day, one or two days it is an incredibly easy work I'll say that the next part will be a finish clean grind perhaps even paint including the holes and the spikes because I use the skewer sticks for barbecue in order to anchor this into the styrofoam and most of the time the, the top of the plane the styrofoam is as good as thick as this sometimes I actually have to extend this, this screw because there is much more fun much more foam than, than what is supposed to